What's up, Rudo? Shade Tree Surgeon here. I'm standing in the Buffalo Airport, 1,500 miles away from home, maybe 1,400, maybe 1,300. Who's counting? 1,500 sounds cooler. I'm far away from home. I came up here on a trip that was spur of the moment. I made the decision literally overnight. I hopped on my motorcycle and I came up here. I didn't plan for it at all. It was super irresponsible. I didn't pack, but I'm on my bike. I'm on the Goldwing. I'm up here and I was feeling kind of homesick and kind of lonely. So luckily there's someone else who's almost just as irresponsible as I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. You want to talk about irresponsible? I just jumped on this bike and went, um, this is Arab honey. That's Marin. She just jumped on an airplane, literally made the decision drunk last night and flew out here to meet me. Uh, the farthest she's ever ridden on a motorcycle is maybe 20 miles, maybe. This is trial by fire. You think I'm dumb? Wait till you meet this chick. I'm kind of scared. Bike's loaded up. This absolute psychopath has got some uh, some fries in there, some chicken nuggies uh, in there. She's ready for the ride. You're, are you ready? Are you ready to do uh, 500 miles? Gotta be ready. Got my little cup holder. Oh, already? We haven't even started moving yet. Cool, it started. <laughs> like I said, still not sure. This bike is untested. We might not make it. Only about 2,000 miles to go. <laughs> she has faith, thank you. All right, Devo, get us to Ohio, baby. Let's rock and roll. See you later, New York. Ohio, here we come. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you watched the video previous to this, but I just did like 1,300 plus miles all in one shot yesterday. So 500 for me today ought to be easy. Who it probably won't be easy for is Arab Honey on the back of this motorcycle because the furthest she's ever been on a motorcycle is maybe like 20 miles ever. The furthest she's been on this motorcycle back in Tampa was around the block. Uh, she's about to do probably close to 2,000 miles in the next three days. Uh, this girl's wild, but I don't know if she knows what she's in for, but ain't no turning back now. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> You're in the saddle now, Marin. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do to stop this. This is a wheel in motion. The boulder's rolling down the hill, and you can't stop it, so you might as well enjoy the ride. And this is why you do it on the back of a motorcycle. It just doesn't get any more beautiful than this i mean it does get more beautiful than this but just this on a motorcycle on the road experiencing this in the open air you can go in a car you can travel in a car and it's kind of nice i guess do it on the back of a bike there's absolutely nothing like it so first gas stop marin how do you feel pretty freaking cool <laughs> that's officially the longest time you've ever been on a motorcycle yes and Maybe every mile getting, after this, my butt's getting flat though. Every mile after this will officially be a new record. Marin's learning all sorts of rules of the road right now. And the first lesson is put on some chapstick. My lips are cracking. <laughs> yeah, we're learning as we're going. It's all right. All right. See you later, New York. Pennsylvania, here we come. <laughs> Pursue your happiness. You got it. <laughs> Are that's okay? Do you want them lower, higher? They're good. They're good? So there's definitely a little bit of fear and knowledge here. Uh, I know Marin said she had a panic attack right before she headed out here. And I told her, you know, she got over it. She got on the back of the bike. And I told her, don't <laughs> save some panic for later. Because this is a very old motorcycle that's not in the greatest shape. It's starting to smell funny. And it's making a couple of new noises that it wasn't make making when I first left on the trip from Tampa out here. Um, I don't know if this bike's going to make it. I, I hope it does. But I have no idea. <laughs> And I say that, and I think Marin probably thinks I'm joking. I'm not. Fireworks and karate supply? That sounds like the coolest store ever. So that was about 120 miles. That's about as far as I go before I pull over. So you just did like what, that's what I'll do. We're also leaking something. <laughs> I'm not sure what. We've developed some kind of oil leak back here. Get a gold wing, they said. They're reliable, they said. They don't leak oils. They don't freaking break down. Not like Harley Davidson's. Oh, apparently.
apparently this thing's doing its best Harley impression, but it doesn't seem to be leaking much oil. Uh, whatever, it should be fine. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. What's the worst that could happen? She's suiting back up, Arab honey, back in the saddle. Uh, had to get something a little higher octane. Uh, what's she sipping on now? Mike's Heart or by Beat. Mike's Heart, strawberry pineapple. It's a lot. It tastes like <laughs> melted candy. <laughs> Come on, can't you get on it cool? Why do you have to look like a nerd? <laughs> now you really look like a dip. <laughs> There's no cool way to get on a gold wing, but you don't look cool on this bike anyway, so should be right outside of Columbus to meet up with her two wheels and have a beer at her favorite bar. I, I didn't even ask her for any place special. I just said, you know what? We're gonna meet up and do a little ride together. Why don't you take me to your favorite place? Funny story about her two wheels. I actually met her at the Columbus AIM Expo before she had even started a channel. I met her when I was at Iron Pony doing a meet and greet. She came up to me and said, I think I want to start a YouTube channel as well. And we talked for a little bit and look at her go now. I think she's right at like 50 or 60,000 subscribers. Absolutely killing it. Stoked to meet up with her again because I missed her when she came to Florida. And come on, this is just an absolutely gorgeous ride. So my feelings ain't getting hurt. Oh man, not at all. Too bad for half the year it snows and it's freezing cold out here. So Ohio is absolutely beautiful. I can see why her two wheels does so many camping videos out here. This is absolutely freaking gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, I could get used to this. Freaking amazing. side of the road. <laughs> Marin's feeling a little less confident now because the Goldwing just mysteriously died for uh, seemingly no reason at all. There had to have been a reason, uh, but not one that I could ascertain. And after trying to start it for a few minutes and looking at it real funny, it started back up. So let's rock and roll. Feeling confident? What do you give our odds? What do you, you think we're going to make it? Yeah. Like what? Like a one in, one in five chance maybe? <laughs> I think we're going to make it. We wouldn't dare. It wouldn't dare not make it. No. <laughs> Only one way to find out. All right, now let's see if I can pull back out on the highway without getting freaking murdered. All right, on these mighty wings. Don't fail me now. First breakdown out of the way. Well, I guess second breakdown. The first one was uh, in the other video at my very first gas stop. The choke got stuck open. <laughs> ah, a thousand miles from home on a 40 year old motorcycle. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Second breakdown <laughs> and Marin was starting to lose faith. Arab honey didn't think shade tree surgeon could do it as I poke her into traffic. Little do you know, I thrive on doubt. Someone says I can't do something, I'm gonna freaking do it just to spite them. So it ended up being the fuel pump and I traced it back. I figured out the fuel pump wasn't pumping fuel and I traced it back to, back to the relay or the fuse if it had one and I found a loose connection and that was it. We're ready to rock and roll, baby, let's go. On our way. We ain't dead yet. It's always scary when you break down. <laughs> like, I already start making plans to freaking have the bike towed. Might have to fly back to Tampa. <laughs> but it just feels that much better when you overcome. What's up weirdos and welcome to the Her Two Wheels channel here in Ohio with Arab Honey, the Krusty Wing, the Hibachi Glide, Raspberry Beret, the Pork Chop Express, whatever you want to call it. And today on Her Two Wheels, we're hanging out with Shade Tree Surgeon. <laughs> Oh man, I put my gold wing to shame. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. You didn't have to that hard but you did all right holy crap 
riding together. I was I was mentioning earlier that the first time I met you was actually before you had even started your channel. You had the name already, and you said you were going to start filming and start making videos, and I was like, yeah, you go get them, champ, whatever. <laughs> you know, like two years later, here you are. What are you at, 60,000 now? Actually, it's only been a year. We This was last year. It's only, it's only been a year? Oh, my God. Wow, good for you. That's fucking awesome. Well, that's why I had to come up here and do a ride with you before you get bigger than my channel. <laughs> That way I can be like, oh yeah, no, I helped her get there. Oh, I did the same thing to Blockhead. I go like, dude, I gotta come up and do a video with you before your channel gets bigger than mine. And his channel was like a couple hundred bigger than mine, or smaller than mine. I was like, no, we gotta do it, dude. I gotta come up and we gotta do a dual vlog now. <laughs> Otherwise it looks like I'm trying to suck your dick. It's weird, man. That's what I was just telling my husband. I was like, cause my husband, man, he's watched both of your guys' channel for a long time. So I feel like I've known you guys for so long, which is just that weird YouTube thing. I don't think it's weird. It doesn't bother me at all. When somebody comes up to me and they're like, I feel like I already know you. Then they just start talking about things I've done on camera. I'm just like, okay, yeah, cool. It is like you know me. Cause you can bring up all this stuff that I've done and I can talk about it with you like you were there because you do know about it. So it, it, when someone like is really familiar, I don't know, that's just me though. I freaking, I get along with everybody. No, that's a good personality trait. Cause I feel like I get along with everybody too. But then I've, I've met, I, you know, I've seen the weird ones that just really weird me out and it makes it not fun anymore. But then I'm like, you got to remember the normal ones are the ones staying quiet. <laughs> just. <laughs> hanging out and enjoying the content. The people who are the most vocal sometimes are just are, have the strongest opinions. So like someone who is just kind of like, ah, I enjoy the videos, I don't have a lot to say about it. Their opinions, they don't post them because they're not that strong. So you get people on both sides, love you, hate you. And those are what you get because those are the people who just feel like I need to post something. I have to say it. I have so many emotions inside my body and I need an outlet and it's the YouTube comment section, which is good. I love you guys. I love them. I love my, I love my comment section. It's great. I know. I, I say it all the time. I'm like the amount of good and positive reinforcement vastly outweighs the negative. Always. Oh my God. Not only does it sound cool and look cool, but it's a lot faster too. You need, holy moly. I'll do I, here. I, I'll do mine. It sounds more like a microwave on defrost. I want to I get up closer to you, but I also am just like, hey, this thing is a land barge that gets uh, speed wobbles if you look at it funny. So we're taking... <laughs> well, then get away from me. <laughs> we're taking your life into our hands right now. <laughs> I, I've got everything completely under control at all times. Confidence is key. <laughs> that way when something bad happens, like I can, and everyone's like, well, I thought you had things under control. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I thought I did too. I don't doubt your abilities at all. The amount of miles you just crushed on that thing that's older than I am, like there's something you know that I don't. No, I'm just not afraid of the consequences. So I accept what I do and not to be like serious, you know. To quote Nietzsche, you must not be afraid to burn in your own flame. That sounds like a solid Uncle Iroh quote right there. <laughs> well, Frederick Nietzsche, close. What I do is I accept the consequences of failure before I leave. I say, this bike might break down. I might have to leave it on the side of the road. Um, I might wreck it. I might do all these things. And before I leave, I accept them. And I'm okay if it happens because I've said that I'm okay with it. And then, if that doesn't happen, everything else is fucking money, baby. Exactly. Expect the worst and everything else is best case scenario. So far, I've only had uh, three breakdowns. <laughs> and that's like three breakdowns in, uh, I think I've gone like 1,800 miles, maybe 2,000 miles or something. No, maybe 1,800. I forget, how much was it here? It was like 500 or 600 here. I thought you had to do like 1,600 from Tampa just to Niagara. No, that was 13, it was 1,300. Like 1,340 or something like that. But who's counting? I was. <laughs> I was like, this dude's insane. People have done People have done more. There's always somebody with a bigger dick. Oh, yeah, that I don't even care. I, I don't either. That's why I'm not like... I'm not worried about being like, look at what I have accomplished. I'm just like, man, you know what? There's always somebody who can beat me. There's always somebody with a bigger dick. There's always somebody who can get into a dick measuring competition with you and pull out just enough shaft to beat you. Cool. Well, I said, take me to your favorite place. This is your favorite place. Let's do it. So here's what's happening right now. So I'm, we're hanging out with Her Two Wheels with Jess, Arab Honey, and Jess's husband, who will remain unnamed. <laughs> More Oktoberfest, thank you. Let me tell you this right now, for those of you guys who don't watch my channel all the time, might not know this, but I'm a terrible, 
terrible YouTuber. So when we've just ridden 600 miles, six, 700 miles, there's food in front of me and beer in front of me and we're hanging out with uh, good friends. Wait, my hand's in the way. Like I said, terrible YouTuber, I hate cameras. <laughs> we're hanging with good friends, her two wheels over here. Uh, basically, I think the cameras are going down. It's time to get drunk. Get out, get off, get off my There, it's a burger. We're at Bummies, the burger, I'm sure it's gonna be good. The loaded tots were good. I'll come here, it's like, whatever, it's food. You'll be fine. Goodbye. All right, good times with her two wheels and her husband last night. Thanks for taking us out to Bummies. We had a great time. The food was awesome. The beer was great. And she put us up in her house, in her house. So very cool. Right now it's 6 a.m. and adventure is in the air. And I could not be more excited. Unfortunately, it's not quite infectious enough to get Arab Honey excited yet. It's early. She had tequila last night and it's very cold, but like the Colorado River wearing down the Grand Canyon. You will be excited. All right, goodbye, Ohio. We're Asheville bound. It is, uh, it is chilly. <laughs> it's hoodie weather here in Ohio. Back in Florida, it's still in the 90s. Right now, I think it's like 40 degrees. Through the mists. I don't even know if this fog's gonna show up on the GoPro. It is thick as soup though. Fingers crossed, no deers, no deers. Twisty back roads in the pitch black? Why not? It's an adventure, isn't it? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Whew. Second sunrise I've seen on this trip. Not bad. Yeah, I don't normally like waking up this early, but when motorcycles are involved and crushing miles needs to happen, it feels good. Although I'm sure uh, Arab honey back there is maybe not in total agreement with me right now. <laughs> Are you sick of Ohio yet? Arab Honey is struggling right now. She's born and raised in Florida. She's not used to this chilly weather. <laughs> yeah, she's got every flannel I brought except on, except the one I'm wearing. You can do it, I believe in you. You know, you know how I know you can do it? There's literally no other option. Back at it. <laughs> Better get south where it's a little bit warmer. Whew. West Virginia, here we come! <laughs> this is gonna be, <laughs> these mountains are gonna be fun with this fog. <laughs> oh, poor Arab honey. I'm sure she'd be enjoying these beautiful West Virginia roads and mountain views a, a little bit more if she literally wasn't shattering her teeth back there. We didn't need to stop. I just figured you'd probably use a break from the cold. How you doing? I know it's, I know you gotta be cold. Better with all the stuff on there, right? Yeah, hang on, take your helmet off for a second. Stand in the sun. All right, ready to freeze again? <laughs> this is, <laughs> lift up that visor real quick. Let me show you guys something. Her lips are freaking blue. I had to, we had to stop before we even needed gas because I was seriously worried you're gonna have have hypothermia. Ooh, headed to Asheville, but I'm gonna do it via West Virginia. I rode up to New York two days ago now and I came up through West Virginia. I'd never been here before. And uh, on the way back, I just had to do it again. It was, it was too beautiful. I swear to God, West Virginia is just God's gift to motorcycles in America. Especially on this big old pig, because it's not like it's crazy tight switchbacks or anything. It's just, I don't think there's a mile of straight highway in this road, but it's all these just big, just sweepers back and forth and back and forth, which this thing barely handles. When you go into a turn, the front tire feels like it gets turned into an oval. <laughs> it just wobbles like a mother so if you were trying to do some like slower tight really tight turns like if i was trying to go like on some mountain back roads and not the highway i would probably have a pretty bad time on this bike 
But big, long, sweeping turns like this, oh, it loves them. It loves them. Another time, I'm going to have to come up here and just ride straight to West Virginia, you know, and without stopping and stay in one of these towns out here, or maybe get a cabin on the mountain and just freaking ride the back roads because I've been having so much fun on the highway. I can't even imagine what the back roads are like out here. They've got to be so awesome. Although I will say that the Gold Wing, not exactly a back road weapon, if you know what I mean. Crazy, even here inside the town, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's so foreign to me being able to just view the whole town like that. Usually the only view like that, when I see that is in an airplane and you can just see the whole thing. It's crazy. The West Virginia Turnpike. Now they don't make they don't make a mile of boring road in this state. Not a chance. Oh, freaking love it. I'm sure there's more beautiful places in the world, but I haven't been there. This, I, I have to say, this is the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. Just holy moly. I mean, everyone talks about how beautiful West Virginia is, but until I actually came here myself and saw this place with my own eyes, I had no idea. Every, every time you turn a corner, you're just breathtaking. Oh, uh, being a Florida boy, I will never not keep be excited about riding through a tunnel. This is so cool. Right through the mountain, baby. And out the other side. It's wild. <laughs> it's just so foreign to me. This might as well be the surface of the moon. It just seems so weird. It's so unlike anything I ever experienced. Was where the people's houses are and just up, up, everything's at the top of a hill. Just. <laughs> All right, pulled off the highway because Arab Honey needed another drink. And uh, I saw that we we're right next to a scenic route. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna stop doing these highway miles and take it easy for a while. We're actually doing pretty good on time right now. Even if we took the scenic route the whole way, I think it's about four hours to Asheville. So we're gonna take our time. I mean, this wasn't really the trip I planned on doing a whole bunch of back roads on. I kind of planned on doing the highway miles the whole way, but I love doing this stuff too. Although I will tell you that the Goldwing is just, it's, this is not, it's made for the highway. Like taking the Goldwing on back roads is like taking a dirt bike on the highway, okay? It's just not what it's made for. This was made for the super slab, baby. Riding through bland. I, I imagine they make jokes about how boring it is here all the time, but uh, you can't even though. There's nothing bland about this scenery. It's absolutely freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. I wish I could have taken this the whole way. Definitely not what this bike was built for. <laughs> like I said, very, very wobbly in the turns. The handlebars just shake like crazy whenever you lean it over, but I think I got a handle on it as long as I take it easy and avoid gravel on the road. I forgot about that. Not on the super slab anymore. Now there's now you gotta watch out for gravel and leaves. <laughs> Once again, not on the right equipment for the job. But this is what we got and we're here. So we're doing it, baby. Let's climb the mountain. Up and up and up she goes. This poor carbureted bike is struggling. <laughs> oh my gosh, this freaking, this land barge. You believe this dump truck is on these beautiful roads? <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't even seem like it should be allowed here. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh my gosh, I am so glad I pulled off the highway. Although Marin probably isn't. Air Bunny's back there probably going like, oh my God, you are gonna put us over the side of the mountain. And yes, there's a drop off. <laughs> this is freak amazing. Now, this video is gonna be like an hour long because I'm gonna wanna include all of this. Everyone's gonna talk crap about how I'm riding, but look, <laughs> you freaking feel this front end wobble and you confidently dive into turns. This thing does not track worth a damn, but still having fun. What's that old saying? It's uh, more fun to drive a slow bike fast. Well, I'm driving a slow bike slow. I'm pretty far from home, so I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go home in an ambulance right now. Downhill, always a little trickier especially with brakes <laughs> on top of the bike being 33 years old the brakes are 33 years old as well i think they were probably pretty good for back in the day but uh, sometimes they sketch me out a little bit dude i want the road i want road king kong out here it would be slaying this stuff or my ducati god i'm still having fun though <laughs> you know what it's probably more fun on a bike like this where you just you're kind of forced to take it easy because of what it is instead of trying to push anything to the limit like i'm not trying to push anything to the limit here i'm just enjoying this beautiful road enjoying the scenery and having a good time and when you're on a bike like this you don't feel forced to push anything <sighs> imagine living out here with this as your backyard freaking gorgeous Amazing. Okay, back in some more mountains because uh, this place is lousy with mountains. We're in the Jeff Jefferson National Forest now. We're in the Jefferson National Forest now, and if it's anywhere near as good as what we just went through, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And I know at the end of this, on the tail end of this, we're, uh, the last leg is gonna be on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I'm very excited about being on. Got a downshift. <laughs> I mean, this is a two up and fully loaded and it's carbureted in the mountains. She need, she's struggling. Man, I am so freaking glad I got off the highway. That was the right move. Definitely the right move. You gotta be careful on these downhills. These brakes are, <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure out this whole like linked brake stuff. Not the biggest fan of it, to be totally honest with you. It's probably better. Even linked brakes is probably better than me, but I don't know. I'm just a control freak, so I like to be in charge of which brakes I'm using when instead of the bike telling me exactly how I have to use them. Wow. Virginia, you are not disappointing. Dude, it's so easy. You see these things from the highway and then you get out in the middle of them and you're like, okay, um, yeah, this is big. These are large. Just flipping gorgeous out here. Absolutely breathtaking. And you, it's, you have to see it from the back of a motorcycle. There's no other way to do this. Inside a car, I just, God, it's just different. This is like a freaking, like a postcard out here. Come on, man. Look at this. Back in North Carolina, Asheville, here we come. This does not seem real. Uh, where am I? I mean, I know where I am. I'm in North Carolina. And North Carolina, just as beautiful as West Virginia. Here we are, the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, my butt is feeling it. You know, this doing it this way didn't add many miles to the journey, but it did add an extra two hours. So uh, <laughs> you feel it in other ways.
wow. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, even though it's taking longer, I'm glad we went this way again. Wow. Worth it. Oh, even spiral curves going down. This is freaking awesome. And they just come out to that. Wow. Amazing. Thanks for hanging tough. I know today's been a hard day. Really proud of you. Parkway was beyond words. I can't, beyond words. I'm just going to let my video do it justice because I, I don't have the words for what just happened. That was a freaking, that was amazing. Uh, now we are actually about to enter <coughs> Asheville. Not a minute too soon either. Marin uh, is really ready to get out of that seat. Man, the road into Asheville is freaking curvier than the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is wild. I freaking loving it though. Man, this is great. Exactly what I wanted. More than I could hope for, if I'm really being honest. God, the road in here is phenomenal. What are these, like, the neighborhoods just right here on the side of the mountain? That's freaking amazing. Oh, I mean, I don't think that's just that's a neighborhood. I think that's just one dude's place right there. <laughs> not, a, not a neighborhood. It's, could, it's a size. It could be a neighborhood. I think that's just one dude's house. I can't believe there's a town here. I mean, it, do it doesn't seem like there should be a city here, like an actual city with buildings, like right in the middle after what we just came through. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? like office buildings and everything? That seems bizarre. Right up here at Wicked Weed, I got a Thon Farewell, which is the most sessionable no. thing on the menu. Sexual? It's delicious. How's your sour? It's really good. It's a watermelon sour. So I got a burger, which is not out of the ordinary for me, but what I did is I got um, a house special burger that had a bunch of stuff on it that I wouldn't normally eat. And I just said, screw it, I'm gonna get it anyway. And uh, it's delicious. And Marin got a trout BLT hold the bacon so she doesn't go to Arab hell. Uh, a trout BLT hold the bacon is just a trout sandwich. It's just a trout sandwich, <laughs> it's good though. It's 6 a.m. and I'm about to have an intense 
character building experience. Arab Honey has elected to fly back to Tampa because uh, the last two days were pretty rough on her for someone who's never really ridden a motorcycle long distance before. So I don't blame her. She's also getting to miss this lovely experience. So we're about to uh, ride all those mountain roads back in the pitch blackness in the pouring rain um, on this cold wing with suspension that barely works and wobbles like a drunk at 3 a.m. in every corner. What's the worst that could happen? Obviously, I'm not going to put a GoPro on because I don't want to ruin it. So I'll catch up with you guys when it's not raining. Hopefully at some point it stops between here and Tampa. Well, you'll just have to believe me that that ride was absolutely ridiculous. And if you knew what I did and how fast I went and in what amount of rain, you would say I needed a therapist or to go to jail. You're just going to have to take my word for it. I just did literally like 500, almost 600 miles in the pouring whiteout rain. I actually found out that I rode all the way through the entire, across the entire uh, cross section of Tropical Storm Sally. So uh, that wasn't super fun. Uh, let me tell you something else. North Carolina doesn't use reflective tape <laughs> for, their, uh, for their highways. Anyway, so I'm actually in Orlando, not Tampa where I live, because as you know, Marin Arab Honey flew back because uh, her butt couldn't quite take that 600 miles. Funny enough, I passed through Orlando right when she landed. So I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad she didn't ride with me, by the way, because what I just did, uh, what I just did on this bike, uh, th that 600 miles, I'm just, oh God, my butt hurts. That was hard. That was probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done on two wheels, like bar none, period. End of story. That at least the first 300 miles were. I would tell you, I, I rode out of 600 miles, probably f f 450, 500 of them were in the torrential whiteout downpour, zero visibility rain. Uh, that was rough. Still pretty rainy here in Florida, so you know, uh, Arab Honey might have avoided. <laughs> she might have avoided the really dangerous stuff in North Carolina and South Carolina. Because, man, their highways are just rough, especially in the morning before it got light out. That was really, really tough. You know it's tough when, like, maybe my trucker friends can say this. I know a lot of truckers watch the channel. I In uh, North Carolina, in the rain, in the morning, before the sun came out, I saw uh, it had to have been a hundred trucks. They were just all over the side of the road. And you really, I, with this bike, with this headlight from the 1980s, I really honestly couldn't see anything. I was just, I was like, man, I'm, I'm completely blind. I feel like I'm underselling it. Like, you, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to explain it in words. How dangerous that was how little I could see and for how long I mean everybody's been rained on on a bike everybody's experienced a whiteout or been somewhere in the pitch black where it's raining and you can't see anything at all, just in front of you at all or and there's no <laughs> there's no marks on the road for you to even follow those but it wasn't that that happened it's happened to me before it's just how long it happened to me now it wasn't for a few miles it was for damn near four hours straight and it still rained on me after that first four hours of white knuckle white out hundreds of miles through, through tropical storm sally like it still rained on me the whole way after that too uh just it was, and still was pretty hair raising but just compared to those first four hours nothing a piece of cake so let's see if we can get arab honey home without getting rained on tell me how we literally get here at exactly the same time arab honey was really bummed out about not being able to make the ride home even though she she didn't want to she was just bummed out about not being able to boom you're riding into tampa you're making the last stretch <laughs> You might still get rained on. Well, thanks. Yeah, no, you took the short. You took the shortcut <laughs> to Tampa. All right, last hundred miles. <laughs> Arab Honey makes the victory lap into Tampa. Hopefully, it is a victory lap because this entire sky is black. I have no idea if we're just gonna do this last hundred miles getting rained on too. <laughs> this is what I've been through thus far. The odds are not looking good. Oh, it's officially raining. You're gonna get the full experience. What a trip back, dude. <laughs> that was a uh, intense character building experience. That is for sure, man. <laughs> I, 
I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I can say I rode that far with that little visibility and I freaking made it. You didn't get me yet. Like the man himself said, someday the mountain got to get me, but the law never will. Coming into home, uh, hard for me to even try to be charming or funny right now. I'm in a lot of pain. We were just in a ton of traffic, probably stuck in a traffic jam on the bike, inching along at a couple miles an hour for the past 40 minutes. And now it looks like rain over Tampa. <laughs> God. All right, we're gonna... <laughs> We're getting rained on, and the fuel light is on, on top of everything else. <laughs> We're coming back into Tampa in style. Can we make it? On a wing and a prayer, baby. Five more miles, come on. Two more miles. I have no idea I could be getting ready to sputter out at any freaking moment. I would hope with the touring bike though that they give you some wiggle room on the fuel light. That was not super fun. But I get to use my fuel bottle. Well, it sounded like it was, it was pretty dang empty. At this point, I don't freaking care. All right, we got Arab honey dropped off. Let's hear it for her, man. That was, uh, <laughs> even though she flew part of it back, that was a lot. That was over a thousand miles in two days for somebody who previously had maybe only ridden on a motorcycle, maybe like 10, 20 minutes or something like that. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. <sighs> Forgot to put my gloves back on. I'm not even gonna pull them back out again though. I just, I don't have the energy. I'm just gonna have to squid at home. Oh, if I can't even get on this thing, I don't even want to sit back down on it. Oh, man. That was a rough last day. That was uh, close to 3,000 miles in four days. Um, <laughs> for me, you know. And uh, I ride a lot, but that was still, gosh, that last day. Today was, uh, that was a rough one. Well, guys, I'm going to limp the Raspberry Beret home. And I think that's going to about do it for this adventure. On the, on the Raspberry Beret, the Pork Chop Express, the Hibachi Glide, triumphant. Oh, what an adventure. Till next time, y'all. Keep it weird. <laughs>